Okay, so with this furnace comes standard from the factory <coughs> for an A2L system, but if we're pairing this up against an R410 system, it's gonna look for that sensor that we're not gonna have. So what we wanna do is we wanna let the circuit board know to not look for that sensor. So we're gonna energize the system. Push this left button for about three seconds. A2U, push it one more time. A2E, press the center button so we can enter that menu. Push the right button to where it says no. Push that center button twice. We'll say A2E again. De-energize the system. And then when we re-energize the system, it should be out of leak mitigation mode, so it should no longer look for that A2L refrigerant sensor. All right, so you'll notice on our new 80% furnaces, in addition to our exhaust vent, we have another hole here for a combustion air intake. <clears throat> Unlike previous 80% systems that had the louvers inside of the panels, our new ones for A2L mitigation have a combustion air intake pipe. <clears throat> We're also gonna have a gasket and a top cover coupling to go on to hold that pipe in place. The combustion air intake pipe kit is required on all 80% furnaces paired with a refrigeration unit using an A2L refrigerant. This kit will prevent any A2L refrigerant from entering the furnace through the combustion air intake in case of any leaks. 